well, it threw me off a little bit. But yeah, I think he's, yeah, that's going to be a strength of his ability to communicate. Colin in Los Angeles, California is our next caller. Hello, Colin. Hey, Bruce. How you guys doing, Mark? Good, Colin. Thanks. Hey, I just had a quick question for you, uh, Mark, or actually two, and I'll hang up. Um, I'm just curious, with Ryan Darko, is there any chance that he'd maybe come back into the fold considering Laporta's two off-season off injuries right. and the fact that we only have Marte maybe to play first base? Well, that's a good question. I think we are looking for a potentially uh, adding a right-handed bat, uh, first base or left field. You know, could be a place we do it, and Ryan is a guy we're comfortable with. Uh, we did talk to his agents at winter meetings. Um, I think we're going to look at all the options out there. Ryan's one of those options. Uh, it's an important decision for Garth right now where he goes. He, he really needs to go a place that will commit to him every day at bats and give him that opportunity. He's kind of right at that threshold that's so important for his career. But uh, he's a guy I certainly pull for and believe in and disappointed with what happened and how it transpired in San Francisco and still a guy that has the potential to return here at some point. Colin, you said you had two questions. Quick yeah, questions. I, real quick too, Bruce. I was just curious about Rafael Perez. Uh, Mark, yeah. I know he's had a lot of success as a starter in the Dominican Republic League yeah. this summer, or sorry, this winter. Is there any possibility that we consider maybe moving him into the rotation considering all the question marks we have there this year? Well, that's a great question, Colin. We've had those conversations. We've had him because he's been dominant, not just success, been dominant down there as a starter. We sent him down there to start to have the, the repetition of multiple innings, to get his delivery ironed out, to hopefully get his sink back. It's worked. Uh, what it's created is a little bit of a conundrum. The reality is we can't expect this guy to come in and start from day one and pitch 200 innings. We'd be, you know, it, it would be unfair to him physically, putting him in a position to be hurt. Uh, what I do think is we'll put him in the bullpen to start the year, but at some point uh, we could consider starting him. We just can't start him from day one, Colin. That would be... You know, the workload is not one where he can go an innings increase from last year to this year sure. uh, of that extreme nature. Thanks, Colin. Good questions. Let's go to James in Orville. You're on with the general manager of the Cleveland.